Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today I'm going to give you a quick tip for your European mounts, your antler mounts, any of that kind of stuff um, that I've been using for, for 20 something years and it's always worked great for me. I'll show you some examples and that is to use kills. Kills is a, uh, you know, it's a basically a, blo a stain blocker. Um, I, I want to say it's even got like some antibacterial uh, deals in it or something like that. But it's a, it's a fantastic thing to use for these. I've been using it forever. And what it does is it just gives it that natural, nice, bright, white, clean color look to it. Uh, as you can see on these different mounts. And it holds up really well over time. For example, here we have a... Um, to give you an example, kind of a timeline, this year, or this actually looking at these antler mounts, uh, this one is uh, 2010 was when I got this deer. So that's been done since 2010. You can see that nice white still on there all the way around that thing. Just perfect white on that that you're seeing. That's 2010. This guy here is the first one I ever did this way. This is from 1999. Okay, now if I put those side by side, you can still see nice bright white to them. Um, they just look nice and clean, and I, I really like the look of them. So they work fantastic for the antler mounts on there. Um, great way to do it. Now another thing I want to talk about here too with the full or with the Europeans, I'm going to give you another tip on there. But um, on the Europeans here, you're looking at too. This is one. This one here is my one from Kansas this year that you're seeing, uh, and you can see that just that perfect, nice, clean white look to it. It's just got. It's it's a little, not quite natural. A little brighter white than natural, but I really love the look and the nice and clean simplicity to that. But you can see on there that look to it is just gorgeous and just a, a light mist of it not a lot of it not nothing crazy um, but it works fantastic but this one is from last year this year that just happened this one that you're seeing next to it is about i want to say maybe five six years ago something like that i'd have to look but about five or six years ago on here for this one but it just holds up really nice and it gives it that nice just clean uh, I, I just really love the look of them. I just, I don't know why, um, but I also like the anti-stain, anti-microbial. I just like the, I, I just love what Kills does. I mean, this stuff is just fantastic. I've got, I, I, I want to say I'm up to probably, I don't know, 30, 35, 40 of these that are done this way. We've got them spread there. I got one there. I got, we got them all over the house. I got a whole shelf of them over there and every one of them is done the exact same way. I think I even did a video showing you some of these unique antler mounts. It explained it in there as well too um, but kills is the key this is the tip it is I, I really like the the kill stuff on there and everybody that comes over they just compliment so much god that skull looks so good those those look so good how do you how are they so nice and white it makes a difference now the tip for hanging these for hanging european mounts if you get wire, okay, I use trapping wire. Trapping, you just regular trapping wire, but any kind of steel wire. Um, but you have in here, you have holes in here. I'll come around and maybe I can show you a little closer up on here where you can see. But if you look right on here, you go right through that socket right there. There's two little holes on the side. If you bend a wire and stick it through there so they pop out on those little side holes like you can see it. Where's that camera at? Right there. You can probably see that in there, sticking in there. But then you get this perfect loop right here of wire that you can then hang that on the wall with and use it for a deer mount. I did. Here's another one right here. This one, see if you can see it on this one, maybe even better. Yeah, you can see it there too. So let me put that where the frame is, right there. But that wire just curls right up through there. There's a perfect, you got your main hole here and then you got two little side holes that come right through there. And I basically stick that wire in there and I bend them with needle nose pliers in there and it gives you that perfect hanger for a nice, clean, simple way to be able to hang these uh, European mounts up. Simple, sweet, and easy. Um, put them on any kind of a nail or screw or anything you want to. It's got a head to hold them. But it just works really fantastic and really simple to do. Oops, stepping on my dog's ball there. But, uh, um, but there you go. But that's the key. The key is the kills right here. This is the stuff that's going to make the difference for you and give it that kind of a look. Some people like it. Some people don't. If you want pure 100% natural, that's completely fine. All of these, I do them basically the same way, um, whether it's a European or it's an antler mount um, like you're seeing over here. What they basically are is I'm using 
a, um, I boil the heads in water with a good combination. I put a little bit of uh, um, baking soda in there to lower the boiling point down so that way I don't have to worry about teeth coming out of my mounts. Uh, but I put a little baking soda in there. I put a, you know, a good squirt of Dawn inside the thing. I boil the heads out. I change the water. I do that two or three times, but I'm always boiling with Dawn dish soap. Dawn removes the grease out. If you've ever seen mounts where they get real shiny and they turn yellow, that's because they didn't degrease them good enough. Yes, you can use peroxide. There's, a, there's 10 different ways to skin a cat here, okay? You can do a lot of different things. For me, Every one I've been doing, and again, we're going back to 1999, and they've all been done the same way, and I've never had them grease out or, or give me any fits. It's so I boil them in a good, heavy concentration of Dawn dish soap, couple boils, get them cleaned up well, put baking soda in there to lower the boiling point so you don't have to worry about teeth and stuff falling out. Once I have that done, I pull them out of there, I let them dry. Once they're dry, I tape off the antlers with uh, newspaper and then I spray paint them very lightly from a good distance, you know, yay far away, just a good slight mist of that kills all over the whole thing uh, to give it that nice uh, clean white skull kind of look to it, a little, little brighter than a natural kind of color. So, but that's it, sweet, simple. There's a tip for you, kills. That's how I do all my mounts. So thanks for watching.